welcome back to my channel um i haven't posted any videos in about two months actually i didn't mean to take a break but you know things just got in the way yeah so as you might know i went to florida in uh, late february and visited two nurseries i posted the videos of my tours and i think one viewer suggested that i do a plant haul video to show what plants i got there and i thought it was a great idea i had been meaning to to film a video about the plants i got there but anyway two months later i finally got a chance to do it actually i visited eldam tropicals first um and then Gabri uh, gabriela plants and but in the end i post the Gab gabriela plants tour first oh so in front of you you can see all the plants i got at uh, eldam eldam tropicals um so basically i had the plants mailed to me shipped to me because uh, um i was only charged ten dollars for shipping and it would be much easier for for uh, the owner to ship me the plants instead of me carrying the plants back so yeah i figured you know that would be a better way to do it and i got six plants there um so she charged me sixty dollars for the plants and then ten dollars for shipping which was a great deal oh so this is the first uh, two plants i got uh, as you can see they are um, the variegated watermelon uh, peperomia not every leaf is variegated um so don't expect every leaf is gonna be um, variegated if you order the variegated uh, watermelon pepperoni peperomia from um their website um they have been doing well and i put them in a south west facing window and they actually the leaves will always face um the direction where they get the sun rays um, but it's pretty easy to fix that because um i think it, it takes about a week um to change the direction that the the, the leaves are facing so they were still facing the other way last week and i changed i rotated then last week and this week they are facing the other direction um if you are curious what um, mix i use um when i repot repot my plants uh, normally i use i think it's um gardeners and blooms uh, organic potting mix and i always add uh, a little bit of perlite and or pumice and warm castings and uh, slow release fertilizers so yeah they're both doing well and uh, i try to give them as much sunlight as possible i mean not every leaf is perfect which i think is fine yeah and um next one is an alocasia i don't think this one is very uh, is listed on um their website and i i mean uh she wrote the the name on the packaging if i read the handwriting correctly uh i think it's uh alocasia cory something I, I, yeah i will put the name on the screen it's a very good um alocasia uh, so here's the leaf and yeah this one is not very good but the, the smaller ones okay see so you can see the the other variegated leaves so yeah this one is doing well too yeah this leaf yeah anyway so the next one is uh, a philodendron autumn it's uh it looks a little bit like uh, prince of orange but it's uh, it's autumn and i think this one is listed as like ten dollars on the, their website and the watermelon peperomia is eight dollars each oh uh, yeah this one i don't think this is available on their website right now and i don't think the watermelon 
pepper peperomia is available either. So you might have to wait and check back um, often to see when they'll be back in stock. But this one has been doing really well. And so the, the foliage just so beautiful. The colors are so stunning. You can see, you know, this is red and this is like green and this is a kind of mm, bronze, no, copper. Yeah, so the, the, the leaves are with different colors. Uh, okay, so the next one is um, Anthurian, um Giant Chocolate. Um, actually, I think I already have this one. Um, I got mine at uh, my local grocery store. I don't know if you can see well, but the, the leaves uh, are kind of dark color in the flower, the flowers too. I really like this one. I think I like this one mm, better than the, you know, the regular Anthurians with the like red colors, like or reddish, like red, orange, you know, that kind of colors. I really like this one. I think this one is really cool. It's doing well too. I need to water all of my all these plants after I film this video. Um. Okay, then the last one. So I got six plants all together. So this is the last one. This is a Alocasia Zebrina. So um, can you see how beautiful the leaves are? It's not just green. So it's really pretty and it's grown so much. I mean, it was a pretty big plant when I got it, but uh, yeah, it has grown a lot. I mean, alocasia in general grows fast, except except for the irrigated ones. So you can see the texture, you know, not texture, like uh, the colors are layered. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it's really pretty. And the stem is really pretty too. See? So pretty. I love this one. And it's been growing really well for me, so I'm happy. Mm, yeah, this leaf is not perfect. But anyway, so these are all the six plants I got at Alden Tropicals. And Actually, I think I'm gonna bring two more plants to show you uh, in comparison to the Zebrina. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I brought um, other two alocasias I have um, just to show you um, how the stems are different. So this is uh, the first one, is Zebrina, which I just show you. Kind of like a leopard. So this, uh, this is the stem, and this is the leaf. Ah. Okay, there we go. So now you can see, oh, it's the leaf is huge, this one. And the second one is um, Alocasia Stingray. Let me go back. So I think both, um, I saw it at um, unhurts.com and I was never really interested and I think this is a plan that you really need to see in person to appreciate it and so I went to San Francisco a few weeks ago and of course I had to go to the nurseries um, so I picked this one up at um, I think plant, plant therapy uh, for 25 which it was okay, but in general, I think plants in San Francisco are super expensive. Um, so to give you an idea how expensive plants are in San Francisco, I went to a really small uh, plant shop, um, really small, I can't remember the name, and a six inch variegated uh, Hindu rope, it wasn't really long, um, was $80, which I thought was crazy. Um, yeah, anyway, I was gonna do a tour, but in the end, I didn't do it because I didn't really think it was, I mean, I didn't really see a lot of cool plants um, in the, I think I visited five nursery. Yeah. So in the end, I only filmed in one of the, the plant shops and didn't post it. Um, yeah, anyway, so this is a stingray. It's not a baby stingray. So you can see that this leaf is huge. 
it's really cool. Um, yeah, this one's not doing well, but none of the the plants there look perfect. But I pick this one up because the the sleeve is huge. Um, I'm sure it's gonna do okay. Uh, okay, so. Uh, last location I want to show you is this uh, lowrider. Um, yeah, it wasn't labeled, but I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a lowrider. So I got this one. F it was on sale for $10.99. Uh, I just happened to be there in that area and just, you know, I just went to this nursery, which I've never been to before. Um, the house plan section wasn't too great. But I, in the end, I pick up two plants um, there. So this is a lowrider. The stem is not as cool as the, the other two, but I think it's still kind of interesting. I forgot to show you the stem on the stingray. Okay, so here are um, the plants I got from Elden Tropicals and also um, to Alocasias I got locally. Um, so here are the plants I got from um, Gabriela plants. So the first one is my pink princess. Um, I actually just removed two leaves because they didn't look too, too good but I, I think the plant is doing okay. It's not as pretty as when I first got it, but I think it's fine. This leaf is still pretty, and this is the, the new leaf. And I think there's another one here. This is uh, an older leaf. So, yeah. I think their wait list for Pink Princess is really long, but you can still get it. Um, I think you probably have to wait for couple months or maybe three or four months before you get yours but it's totally worth it so pretty um okay so the next one is uh, philodendron padatin i think this the leaves should have the the mature one should have five lobes one two three four five five lobes but at the same time, I have uh, another philodendron padatin, which I got from NSC Tropicals. And they look very, um, this one and that one look very different. Initially, I was gonna make a, uh, I was gonna bring that one and the other similar plants for this video so that you can see the differences. But then I figured it, the video would be too long um, if I, if I did that. So stay tuned for that video because I'm gonna bring my Philodendron um, Panda, which I think is a Bipilifolian, Bipilifolian, something like that. And uh, the Podatin I got from NSC Tropicals and my Florida Beauty and Florida Ghost. So you can see all their plants. At, uh, in the same video and you can see the differences. I think I'm gonna try to film that video either tomorrow or next weekend. Yeah, so because they they all look kind of similar but they all look kind of different. So I wanted you to see um, for yourself. So this is how the leaves, some have three, three lobes and some have five lobes so yeah, I don't know if it has to do with their maturity, you know, how, how mature the leaves are. So this one, I think is $25. The pink princess is $50. So this one is $25. They also sell the bipinifolian, um on Gabriela uh, plants, and I think it's $15. Next one is a sport of uh, Philodendron Brazil. It's called Rio. Um, I think the, the leaves are longer than the regular um, Brazil. However, I own multiple Brazil and they all look different. I, so it's hard to say what Brazil looks like because as you can see, I have one Brazil next to the, the Rio. They look kind of similar, no? Uh, because the leaves are long and the variegation looks very similar. 
I have um, other Brazil that, you know, the variegation looks very different because um, they will have more like a neon color. Oh, kind of more like, more like this one, more like this color, like this, this kind of variegation. And instead of this kind of cream color. So honestly, I think this one looks very similar to the real. Um, yeah, but I got this one because uh, it's kind of different. Okay, so I will have to bring the, the plants in the back to the front so you can see them better. Okay, I just moved the plants in the back to the front so you can see them better. So I also got this one. You probably think, oh, I mean, it's really common. Why did you go to Florida to get this one? Um, actually, if you look at the leaves more closely, you will see, um, I think this is a regular, um, um, satin potos you see, and this one I got from Gabriela plants and you, I, I'm sure you can see the difference, right? Um, the, yeah, the leaves look different and I thought it was really interesting when I, uh, saw the leaves on this, um, this one. Um, I think on their website it's uh, listed as Silver Satin Syndopsis. I think they also have this one. I don't know how they call it, but uh, they look different. So I just wanted to bring this one here to show you. Actually, I didn't get this one at Gabriela Plants. I think I got this one um, on Kurtz.com. Anyway, so yeah, I think the leaves are really pretty so i got this one i think this one was probably mm, around ten dollars okay and the last one i'm gonna show you is this um imperial uh, red um this uh, new leaf honestly i think it looks kind of similar to black cardinal i cannot really tell them apart they both have very um like darker uh leaves maybe black cardinal has darker leaves this one's yeah it doesn't look as dark um uh, yeah anyway so i think this video is gonna be super long and anyway so i'm happy to be back and i'm gonna try to post videos more consistently and uh, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the video i'm gonna show you um the similar for denjong um i have um so yeah thank you so much for watching bye